Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Dr. Laska. I am a consultant radiologist and what we're going to be doing today is go through another case. Thanks to my good friends, Collective Minds Radiology, who have sponsored this video. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a link down below for you to be able to go through the case. If you want to, you can do that prior to watching the explanation video, which is going to come up. Um, and then we're going to go through this case. So this particular case is uh, another acute abdomen or an abdominal CT that can come up during a busy shift in A&E. This may be useful for those of you that are surgeons working in A&E or maybe for those of you that are training in radiology. So why not give it a go? Once you're on the platform, what you should see is this particular screen. Go straight through to the review mode button over here and that will take you through to the scan. Once you're at the scan, it may be useful to actually use the cloud button, which will enable you to have slightly smoother scrolling through when you're going through the images yourself. Now, let's get to this abdomen film. This patient's got right-sided abdominal pain. Let's start from the very, very beginning and find the aorta and the portal vein. The portal vein is sitting over here and the aorta is sitting over here. You can see that they are almost the same density as one another, suggesting that this is most likely to be a portal venous phase image. This is a contrast and heart study. Now someone with right-sided abdominal pain may have something going on in the gallbladder. The gallbladder is sitting right over here and the gallbladder actually looks normal. There's no evidence of any fat stranding around there. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you what fat stranding looks like in just a second. Now, what else can cause right-sided abdominal pain? Right-sided abdominal pain may be caused by something to do with the kidneys, an obstruction, a calculus of some sort. And when you look at the kidneys, which is here and here, this is the right side and that right kidney looks pretty normal. However, when you scroll further down, you start to notice that there is a bit of fat stranding. Look at the fat that is sitting over here. The fat that is sitting right over here looks very, very black. The fat that is sitting over here looks a bit hairy. It looks like there's lots of linear densities within there. That is known as fat stranding. However, the kidney doesn't look like it's inflamed. You can actually see this halo around the kidney itself. So if this was fat stranding coming from the kidney, the fat stranding would be within this halo area over here. So this is not coming from the kidney. The kidney is actually normal. Now, the other things that can cause right-sided abdominal pain or any sort of abdominal pain can be the pancreas. The pancreas is this fluffy looking structure that is sitting down this way. And that actually looks normal. There's no evidence of any abnormalities with regards to the pancreas. The pancreas has no evidence of any fat stranding around it. The spleen is sitting right over here and that looks normal as well. So we need to try and identify what is going on with this particular area down the right side of the abdomen. Lots and lots of fat stranding is around this area. Let's go from the very, very beginning or from the very, very bottom. And we can go down from the rectum and follow all the way up. Now just watch my mouse as I scroll through the bowel. And we're gonna scroll through, scroll through and make sure that we've seen every single bit of large bowel. The large bowel curls around this way and then kind of dips further down into the left iliac fossa over here. Keep watching my mouse as I scroll upwards through to the splenic flexure. And then we're coming up to the transverse colon. The transverse colon goes right across the front towards the hepatic flexure. The hepatic flexure is sitting over here. And you can see that kind of veers towards this way, which is gonna be the ascending colon, down to the right iliac fossa. It's around here you start to lose the appearance of bowel and you've got a bit of free fluid sitting within the right iliac fossa and you may have noticed what looks like there's two lumens one that we identified to be the ascending colon and the other lumen that's sitting over here which is definitely not the ascending colon and there's something else now let's follow the abnormal area that is over here if we follow that down towards the right iliac fossa we can actually see that it connects to the very very inferior aspect of the ascending colon Therefore, this is most likely to be the appendix. The appendix appears to be coming from the sequel pole coming up, and then you've got this opening around this region, and then you've got continuation into a collection located within the right paracolic gutter. Some of you may appreciate that the small bowel is emerging from this way to this way to this way to connect to the rest of the distal small bowel over here. So this is therefore definitely a very separate structure and would therefore be consistent with a perforated appendicitis with a subsequent 
formation of a collection. So hopefully you found that useful. There's some important negatives and positives. I mean, it's not just a case of finding the abnormality. You've got to be thinking about the next step and the next step to be able to really bring value for when you are reporting images or interpreting the images that come your way. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos with Collective Minds Radiology who have chosen to support my channel and support overall radiology learning. So do go check that website out. They've got an entire bank of cases that have been provided by very, very senior radiologists where you can work through the cases, interact with other people, learn from the answers in a full DICOM viewer, which is completely online. We don't have to download anything in particular. Please do like, subscribe, tell all your friends about the YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate all the feedback and I'll be coming back with more videos soon. Thank you so much. Bye.